control C. And now this is pretty interesting because we gave a name to the stats logger fiber. We know that that exception comes exactly from the stats logger. So we know what to do. We've done this before. I'm just going to go into status, status logger. And we know that stats stream is going to be the output of stats logger dot run because we want stats logger to own the, the, the stream, the particular channel. So we're going to do stats dot run, stats logger run, and we're going to go there. And you know, stats logger is quite complicated, but really what we want to make sure of is that at the level of the, of the fiber, we're just rescuing from, from closure. So inside here, we're just doing rescue channel closed error. And then whenever that happens, we're going to be logging whatever we used to log. Uh, so something like whatever that was, uh, input, let's say input stream was closed. Would you like, there we go. And then as, as usual, just put your final, uh, final statement inside the ensure block. It, that's a bit safer because we know that however we got there, uh, we're going to be terminating fine. So we're going to be uh, closing the downstream channel. In this case, the downstream channel is called stats stream, which we need to also define as something that gets returned by the command itself. So it's going to be stats stream. Let me just look at the signature for stats stream. It's a channel of array. So let's just take it as it is, remove it from here and say something like channel dot tap this is gonna co be called stats stream as you can remember which is the one we're closing later on and we want to indent everything up to here and there we go and so now to recap the stats logger fiber is now creating a channel and using the channel as the output stream throughout the execution. And in particular, it's publishing data statistics about the uh, failure and success of our HTTP GET request. Whenever it, the upstream channel is closed, we log about the channel being closed and then we make sure we close the stat stream. So the downstream channel, the channel we own, okay? And again, if I go back and run this, you know exactly what's going to happen. Assuming we haven't made any syntax mistake. Um, and what's going to happen is that printer is this time going to be raising a, an error. So fixing printer should be super straightforward. So we go back to printer. Uh, I might have forgotten to include um, a logger. No, okay, that's fine. I'm just going to be doing the same here. So I control C, there you go. Channel is closed, uh, another another exception. This time you can see there's no uh, stats logger name here. So it means that this is definitely another, another fiber. It's definitely printer. I know that for sure. So let's make sure we have the right uh, thing happening. In particular, at this point, printer just needs for now, for the time being, just needs to rescue channel closed. And then once this has been rescued, we can just make sure. So we're inside spawn. We can logger.info and we can say input stream was closed. And once, and of course we need to remember to extend logging and also to import logging up here require dot dot slash logging there we go this should be it now i'm just gonna run this once more to see that we're not raising an exception anymore but you'll see we're not happy yet because really what we're done what we've done is we know we've handled the part where the user requests the termination we've done that in the last session a week ago and then we've handled the set the part where the pipeline fibers are terminated in order because what we do is we propagate the interrupt as by closing every channel 
from the upstream channel to the downstream channel. Once we get to printer, we're basically done. So we control C, nothing is happening anymore. If I look at the logs, I'm just gonna show you what the logs, oh, you can actually probably see the logs. If I do this, and you can see that looking at, looking at the logs, we go, I'm, I'm looking at one of the execution from 1931-46. We start, we send a bunch of URLs, then I send the control C uh, signal, uh, main uh, logs shutting down, and then you have the generator going down, the workers going down, and the, the stats logger going down, and finally the printer going down. Now this is great, we're exactly at this point in the, um, in the presentation where we have the pipeline fibers uh, all terminated in order. The only thing we need to do now is notify the main fiber of the fact that everything is done and we can go, we can just wrap up the entire application, right?